so we're just going to go over quickly how the sequence uh, to revert changes works. So right here I have hi friend. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to commit that using command K, alt K on Windows. And uh, I'm going to change the commit message. And then after that, I'm going to commit and push. It's going to ask me for verification. And I'm going to push it. As you're going to see on the right hand corner, bottom corner, it's going to say that it's pushed successfully. So then I'm going to just replace that and change it to something else because we don't really care about it. We're just going to revert back to the previous. So I'm just going to go ahead and change this commit message and then commit and push. Um, but now let's say I want to revert back to the changes before. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the bottom left hand corner and select git. And then I'm going to go where you see the brown um, line going up, that's where we have all of our commit messages. I'm going to select that commit, the, the commit messages that I want to go back to. You're going to select the file that you want to target and then press the little curly arrow that says revert. And then I'm going to put in a comment, just say we're changing it. Um, and as you can see in the top right hand corner, it's going to send me an email that, to say that my um, push has failed because we have the auto grader enabled. Um, if you're not in this class, then you won't get that email. So we're just going to select this and then we're going to um, merge it and revert back to the original changes.